In this episode, we're going to talk about the list of employees you have to pay, aka a payroll. Instead of just listening to us talk about this stressful topic of paying your staff, here's also a therapeutic time lapse of us painting a scenery to calm you down. But should you hire a payroll service or use an online software? When calculating payroll, you basically need to make sure that all your employees get paid the right amount of money every month. That means adding up benefits, deducting statutory contributions, and keeping track of employee records. Calculating it may be simple, but if you miss anything out, you could end up paying more in fines. A payroll service will do all the calculations for you and make sure you check all the boxes for every legal requirement. They can even help you register your staff with each government body. All you need to do is give them the details. They will add up each employee's salary and benefits, then deduct a fixed percentage from it along with the company's contributions. The mandatory deductions include EPF, which is 11% for employees and 12% for employers. SOXO is 0.5 and 1.75% respectively. The EIS is 0.2% each and a monthly tax deduction or PCB. You'll then to pay them directly to the government and distribute the employee's salaries and payslips before the 7th of each month. Online payroll softwares can automate this process and each employee will have access to their own portal. Softwares like Payroll Panda and SwingMe give you the option to put in each employee's salary and benefits to this system. EPF, SOXO, EIS, and PCB will be deducted automatically with the info from the LHDN. Of course, you would have to register or update each employee's membership with the Inland Revenue Board KWSP, and Procaso manually. Once processed, the software can bank in every employee's salaries directly to their bank accounts and distribute payslips to their portals. It can also generate statutory paperwork for government bodies which employers can download. Whether you outsource a service or use the software, both can help you generate accurate EA forms during tax season every year for each staff. Though they can be more expensive than using an online software, they can also give you flexible pricing depending on the services you need and the size of your company. On top of calculating payroll, some services will do everything for you. They can bank in your employee's salaries to their respective bank accounts, process overtime, claims, and allowances too, while paying the necessary contributions to government bodies through a check or online banking. They can even offer other HR services like accounting and consultancy. Pros, they can customize their services based on your needs. Say you'd rather handle all the ins and outs of your company's bank account and pay your employees or government bodies yourself. You could opt out of certain services to reduce the fees. Cons, they won't openly share their pricing structures on their website, so you would have to talk to them to get a fee. Different online softwares have different pricing strategies. Payroll Panda, ActPay, and HR2Easy charge a base subscription fee plus top-ups for each employee. Swingbee, Infotech, and Kakitan charges per employee based on the services used. Pros, it's easy to compare prices to see what fits your budget and company needs. Cons, there's a learning curve to pick up on all the legal requirements and how to use the software. Attendance logging features. For companies that don't pay employees based on fixed monthly wages, you may need to use different systems to track employees' working hours and pay them accordingly. Outsourcing to a service will do all the calculations for you. All you need to do is submit the attendance. You can either record this using a punch card machine, an attendance log, or others. But if these methods are too old-fashioned for you, most outsourced services already come with some form of software as a service for your employees to log in the timesheets, apply for leaves, overtime, and other claims on their cloud-based service. This skips the need for you as a manager to be the middleman between HR and your employee. Softwares like MN.my, Infotech, and Netiquette have attendance features so that your payroll is linked to data of your employee shifts. It's even easier for those that have mobile apps and employee self-service so that employees working remotely can clock in and out or apply for leaves from wherever they are. Employers can approve them remotely too. Security Concerns one of the biggest concerns about outsourcing payroll is that you'll be giving third parties access to your company's private data. Your payroll service should give you security assurance under the Personal Data Protection Act, as this information should be kept confidential to protect your company and employees. It's the same with any other online software. Just be sure to read the privacy policy before signing up for a subscription. Personal Relationship when you register with an outsourced payroll company, you'll be assigned a personal officer who will work with you on your payroll needs. This is beneficial because as a startup founder, being able to get advice and government updates quickly would save you from missing any deadlines or changes in legal requirements. Payroll softwares will typically let you talk to their online consultants from the website's help center who will guide you through any questions you may have. And as a subscriber, you will usually get news updates about legal regulations and their software. 
Bottom line is, choosing to outsource your payroll gives you a hands-off approach with managing and paying your staff salary correctly every month. Your payroll service will make sure that you are compliant with all government regulations and that you don't miss a deadline. If you use an online software, you'll basically have to manage payroll yourself, and the software will generate your paperwork. All salaries on and offboarding, as well as registering to government bodies, is your responsibility. Though parts of it are automated, you must also be proactive with keeping up with new regulations so that you can feed the system the right info. Last but not least, don't forget to pay yourself. Make sure you add it to the payroll too, so you're paid regularly, just like your staff. Good luck, and stay tuned for more episodes like these to help you on your entrepreneurship journey.